Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of the Pick 6 presented by Sleep Number Wabi back inside the field house at TCO Performance Center with your questions. Training camp right around the corner is coming up in a couple weeks. If you haven't already, make sure you go to vikings.com, reserve your tickets for training camp. All right, let's get to work. Question number one in the Pick 6 comes from Ryan in Iowa. Could Holton Hill see some reps at safety? He has huge talent but would have a tough time seeing the field at corner with his depth. That is true, the Vikings have a lot of depth at cornerback, but Holton Hill has really good promise as a corner in Mike Zimmer's system, and I think asking him to train at two different positions, corner and safety, is gonna take away from his chance to develop as a corner. So you never rule anything out with head coach Mike Zimmer. He can be creative and he knows what he's doing, but I think Hill is gonna stay at corner for now. Question number two comes from William. How is the wide receiver battle going? Well, right now it's not going at all. The Vikings haven't had practice in a month and training camp starts in a couple of weeks. But when we left off after the offseason program, I came away very impressed with the depth at wide receiver. Of course, you have Diggs and Thielen, and they're awesome. But after that, for that wide receiver three, four, five, six position group, you have Treadwell, Stacy Coley. Kendall Wright, Brandon Zilstra, and don't forget about Jake Winicky, Tavares King, a free agent signing, and Caleb Jones, who comes back from last season. You also have Chad Beebe, Jeff Bidette. So the Vikings have really good competition at the wide receiver spot. It's going to all sort itself out during training camp and the preseason. Question number three comes from Matt in Pennsylvania. Do you think with a new offensive coordinator, the Vikings will have better game plans and schemes than they did a year ago. Well, Matt, let's give Pat Shermer some credit. The Vikings had a really good offense last season, scored almost 24 points per game, which was 10th in the NFL, and they did that after losing their starting quarterback and their starting running back in the first month of the season. I think Shermer deserves a lot of credit for adapting very quickly to Case Keenum after training all offseason in training camp with Sam Bradford. So tons of credit to Coach Shermer and the players last season. But this season, we have a new offensive coordinator, John Filippo, in the fold, a new quarterback, Kirk Cousins, in the fold. And I think those two together are going to have some awesome game plans, and I can't wait to watch it in 2018. The next question comes from Christian. With the new kickoff rule, it seems there will be an advantage for those teams with good return teams and a disadvantage for poor coverage teams, correct? Yes, I think that's correct. The NFL, the coaches and the players, what they're trying to do is keep the kickoff and kickoff return in the game, but also make it safer. And I think they've done that with these new rules. But a byproduct of the new rule, I believe, will be more returns and the chance for more explosive returns. It's gonna be fun to see how these NFL coaches change their philosophy when it comes to kickoff coverage. The next question comes from Craig. Haven't heard much on the rookie running backs and any competition for the RB3 spot. Wondering how Rock Thomas is faring from a smaller school. Well, Rock Thomas looked good during the rookie camp in the early portions of OTAs, but then he got banged up and missed some time. So I'm excited for him to be back on the field for training camp. The Vikings actually have a pretty good competition going on at running back after Latavius Murray and Dalvin Cook. They have Rock Thomas, whom Craig mentioned, but they also have Mike Boone and Mac Brown, and I think those three are going to have a really good battle. Johnny Stanton is a fullback slash running back on the roster, and don't forget about number 30, C.J. Ham, the hammer, as Kennedy Polamalu, his position coach, calls him. The hammer can help us out in the passing game as a blocker or a receiver. He can help us out in the running game, and he's an awesome special teams player, so don't forget about C.J. Ham. The final question comes from Jack. Does this team want the touchdown celebrations to increase, reduce, or stay the same as last year? That's right, there was a new celebration rule last year and I think it worked out great. There were very few penalties and there were many awesome celebrations. The Vikings were leaders in the celebration club. They did Duck Duck Gray Duck and they did Leapfrog among many others. I thought Adam Thielen's soccer celebration in London was pretty cool as well. The Vikings did it the right way. They did it respectful, they did it without being penalized and they were creative. That's it for this week's edition of the Pick 6. 
As I said, training camp right around the corner. To bide some time until then, however, make sure you check out Vikings.com. It has a new look, and our assistant coach interviews are up right now, so you can get an inside look at the full Vikings 90-man roster by hearing from all of our position coaches. As always, we'll be back next week with another edition of the Pick 6. Submit your questions to the email address at the bottom of the screen, and we'll see you next week.